Oh, we, we were very, very poor, and poor in a sense that I don't know even exists anymore. Um, I went to school, I'd go to a new school, and first of all, we were from a different part of the country, so I talked funny. You know, no matter where I went, I talked funny. And um, I didn't have the clothes that other kids had. Um, we didn't always have bathrooms. We didn't always have access to showers and baths and things. Um, I could never invite anyone home, never, because I, I, I would die before I'd let anyone see how we lived. And I never knew what condition my father was going to be in. So that's, you know, that's being the child of an alcoholic. And I excelled in schoolwork. I read. Um, reading books were an escape for me. I, I never was without a book in my hand. Um, I'm still that way today. Still read all the time. So it was really important to me to try and look like the other kids. Yeah, I, I had to, it's something that, uh, that I found out later is almost a, a, a hallmark of children of alcoholics, that they look to other people to find out what normal is. I wanted to be normal. I wanted to be like everybody else. And I didn't know how, so I watched everybody and copied everybody to try and, um, you know, I, I learned, learned how to dress and learned how to comb my hair and learned how to do many things just by watching other people. 